You've been to some of the worst places in the world. You've been to the Asian tsunami, the Rwandan genocide. You've been to Haiti after the earthquake. Tough places at the toughest point in time for people living there. Mm -hmm. What's the most challenging for you through the years as you, as you look back? As a human being who, who tries desperately to love and care just to deal with these almost intransigent situations where people are dying for whether it's violence, uh, whether it's starvation because there, there's not enough food available, whether it's illness or disease, to just see that day after day and experience after experience is extremely challenging. Meeting with those people, hearing their stories, seeing mothers and children, fathers who have so little and yet they still have hope and in many cases still find joy in life. It puts your world in perspective. I, I, I suppose the Rwanda genocide was probably the, one of the disasters that affected me the most. When you drive down the road in the morning, there would be a little wrapped palm leaf or whatever this size, that was a baby that had died, and there'd be long ones of an adult. And they were just piled along the road like wood, hoping that somebody would come and pick it up. And, and then one of the other images I have was a mother, just a, a beautiful African woman whose baby had died. And she marched up and laid that baby in a dump truck as they were driving off to a mass grave. You just, I never forget that, never forget that. Dear Diane, even in the worst of times, there is always some hope. A little boy a few months ago who was headed for certain death has been rescued. I held him so tight. A young life has been spared. <laughs> oh, and he has a nice smile, huh? Oh, yes, he's a big boy. The photo of him with um, Gasori is a visual image of what was so important to him. He was able to do something tangible with an actual child who was in need. The most important gift any human can give is to say, I'm there. I, I hear and feel what you're saying and I will I will shoulder some of that burden with you. That, that is the gift of Dave Toyson. The thing that really touched us most and ultimately changed Helen's and my lives was to see Dave talking to a mother, uh, asking about her children, uh, being genuinely interested in their situation and intending to make sure that some difference got made, often in tears. Dave is really a master of taking big picture, complex uh, situations and reducing them down to stories that really touch your heart. When I first met him in Acha, he left me with his book, The Power of Generosity. And I think he embodies that in the way that he's lived his life and, and the way that he engages with people.